Hello my dear friends, I am Sujoy and today in this video I will tell you how to solve first order differential equations by Milne's predictor corrector method plus how to find out the starting values by Taylor series method in very easy language. You will learn both the techniques in a single video. So let's start. Our question is find y of 0.4 by Milne's method or Milne's predictor corrector method for y dash equals to y minus x cube. y dash means dy by dx where y of 0 equals to 1 is given. Obtain the starting values by Taylor series method. So let's proceed to the solution. We need total 4 values of y for the predictor character method to work. Only one value of y is given that is y0. Remaining values are to be calculated by Taylor series method. We need to calculate y of 0.1, y of 0.2 and y of 0.3 by Taylor series method. And finally we will get the accurate value of y of 0.4 by the predictor character formula. So given y dash equals to y minus x cube and x0 equals to 0 and y0 equals to 1 and h equals to 0.1. This first value represents the x0 and y0 values. The value inside the parenthesis represents the x0 value and the value at the right hand side represents the y0 value. So x0 equals to 0 and y0 equals to 1. And h is the increment in the value of x. First x was 0, next 0 0.1, next 0 0.2 and 0 0.3 and 0 0.4. So increment is 0 0.1. So h is 0 0.1. So this is the Taylor's algorithm. I will explain it later when we will do the calculation. Now differentiating the equation 1 or our expression with respect to x we get y dash equals to y minus x cube given in the question. This is our given expression. Next if we differentiate it for the first time that is second order differentiation y double dash equals to y minus 3x. It is also called d square y by ds square. If you differentiate it again you will get y triple dash or d cube y by ds cube that is y minus 3 and now if we put the x0 and the y0 value in this expression we will get our y dash 0 value. So putting y0 and x0 so it will become y0 minus x0 cube that is y0 is 1 and x0 is 0 that is 1. Next y double dash 0 equals to y dash 0 this value minus 3 into x0 by using this expression. So we will get 1 and again y triple dash 0 equals to y double dash 0 minus 3 equals to 1 minus 3 that is equals to minus 2. We are just putting the values in these three expressions. So we have got our required values to be used in Taylor's formula. So using the values in formula number 2 we get y1 equals to y0 plus h divided by factorial of 1 into y dash 0 plus h square divided by factorial of 2 into y double dash 0 plus h cube divided by factorial of 3 into y triple dash 0 and so on. This is the Taylor series formula. Now we will put the values y0 is 1 h is 0 0.1 divided by factorial of 1 into y dash 0 that is 1 plus h square is 0 0.1 square divided by factorial of 2 into y double dash 0 that is 1 plus h cube divided by factorial of 3 that is 6 into y triple dash 0 that is minus 2. So after calculating this you will get 1.104 this is our y1 value. So y1 or y of 0.1 equals to 1.104. The meaning of this expression is for x equals to 0.1 y equals to 1.104. And now for the second iteration all the y values will be incremented by 1. So it will become y2 equals to y1 plus h divided by factorial of 1 into y dash 1. Previously it was y dash 0 into y double dash 1. Previously it was y double dash 0 and y triple dash 
1. Previously it was y tripled as 0. Remaining h values and factorial values are same. This is our formula number 3. And x1 will be x0 plus h. That means previous value of x plus h. So previously x0 was 0 plus h equals to 0.1. And now again same process. Previously it was y0, now it's y1. The process is same. By using y1 and x1 values, we will get y1 values. So y dash 1 equals to y1 minus x1 cube. So y1 is this value minus x1 is now 0.1 cube that is 1.103 and y double dash 1 equals to y dash 1 minus 3x1. So y dash 1 is previous value minus 3 into x1 is 0.1 that is equals to 0 0.803 and y triple dash 1 equals to y double dash 1 minus 3. So y double dash 1 is this value minus 3 is equals to minus 2.197. Now putting the above values in our formula number 3 that is this formula. So it will become 1.104 plus 0.1 divided by 1 into 1.103 this value plus 0 0.1 whole square by 2 into 0 0.803 this value plus h cube by 6 into minus 2.197 that is this value. So by calculating we will get 1.217. So y of 0 0.2 equals to 1.217. Again same process. So I am not repeating this calculation. Just pause the video and see the calculation. So now we have got all the four values of y for x0 equals to 0, y0 is 1, for x1 equals to 0.1, y1 is 1.104, for x2 equals to 0.2, y2 is 1.217, and for x3 equals to 0.3, y3 is 1.343. Now we can apply the Milner's predictor formula, which is this formula. And by putting n equals to 3, we get this simplified formula. We are putting n equals to 3 because other than the first value, we have three extra values of y. So the formula becomes y n plus 1, n is 3, 3 plus 1, 4, y4p equals to y n minus 3, 3 minus 3, y0, 4h by 3 into 2 y dash n minus 2, that is 3 minus 2, 1, y dash 1, y dash n minus 1, that is y dash 2 and 2 y dash 3. This is our formula number 1. We don't have the x dash 3 value. We need to calculate that. So y dash 3 is equals to y3 minus x3 cube. So y3 is 1.343 minus x3 is 0.3 cube. That is 1.316. Now by putting required values in formula number 1, that is predictor formula, we will get y4p is 1.483. So the predicted value is 1.43 for y of 0.4. Now we will correct it by using the corrector formula to get the actual value. The Milner's corrector formula is this formula. Again by putting n equals to 3 we get this simplified formula. Now we don't have the y dash 4 value is calculated by y4 minus x4 cube. y4 is the value we just calculated by the predictor formula and x4 is the value for which we have to find out the y value which is given in the question. x4 is 0.4 so y dash 4 equals to 1.419. Now by putting the required values in formula number 2 that is the corrector formula we will get this and by calculating you will get y4c the c stand for corrector equals to 1.48. So y of 0.4 equals to 1.48. If you have any problem understanding, just backward the video and just watch that portion again. I hope it will clear your doubt. So friends, this was my video on Taylor's series and Milner's method. How was the video? Let me know in the comments below. It took a lot of effort for me to make the video. So please appreciate my effort by liking the video and please share the video. I will upload more videos like this. So don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel so that when I upload my next video, you get an email. So thanks for watching. See you in my next video. And still then, stay connected by subscribing.